Hey guys, today we're going to be testing the Godox 860 V3 for Canon. First, we're going to start with a quick unboxing. Here we start with the user manuals, of course. We have this USB cable that comes with this adapter. And this will be the dock where you will plug in your battery to charge it. Now here, we have the flash itself. This comes in this pouch with the Godox branding and it's bright orange inside and inside you find the flash of course and also it includes this foot so you can uh, make it stand and you can also attach it to a, a tripod or a, a stand for this here so let's take a look at the actual flash in more in depth so for your reference i decided to bring in my v1 and have them side by side so you can see how they look and compare and just to if you're curious, this one has a blue instead of an orange. This is the one for the V1. But uh, for the most part, they are very similar. The main differences are, um, of course, have the round head versus the rectangular head on the 860. Now, but there are a couple of things that I like on this one that this one doesn't have, and I'll show you in a moment. Um, uh, similarities, you have the same uh, way of connecting here. The foot is the same, and the same mechanism to attach which I like this mechanism with the button and the twist instead of having to like twist the other one like you do on the older versions personal preference but for me I like this one better now the batteries are uh, the same except I know that the I think the V1 has this battery as well now but the other versions of the V1 or uh, first releases do not have the uh, VB268 it's just the 26 so just in case one of the things that I really like about this one is this button here on the side that you will see that the V1 doesn't have is the TTL and manual button. So sure, you can just push here and then it will ch change modes, manual, multi and ETTL. But I like having this because I can just flip it up and then it goes to ETTL, down to manual, ETTL and manual. So it's a very quick way to change back and forth. Uh, if you're doing some run and gun and just flip into this really quick hey i need to change manual again i like it this one doesn't have it it's not a uh, deal breaker in either either case but i like having it i, I wish they added it for all the new versions as well uh, so that's one of the main difference right now the other main difference is the modeling light now this one you can turn the modeling light on let me turn it off first so the modeling light is just this tiny led right here right so this is not really a modeling light because this is not going to give you an actual look of how the actual flash is going to look, right? But this is more like a focus assist. Problem is, is for me, I normally don't point the flash like this when I'm uh, doing the photos with the flash on my camera, which I don't do often. But if I were to, I would normally be bouncing up right from the ceiling or, or a wall, which means the focus assist light will be pointing away from what I'm trying to focus. On this one, they decided to put it right in front, which I think is a lot better because now I can just turn it on and I have this focus assist light pushing forward toward the subject this one I'm trying to focus on while I can still push this all the way around, whatever I want to point at. So as a focus assist, it's a lot better. Now I know it's called modeling light, or at least they could put the model here. But it should be like a focus assist light, not really modeling light. So I think that's a, a really good change that they did there by putting it in front. And hopefully the next iteration of the V1 will have that in front as an assist and to focus. So I like that a lot. Now, of course, the V1 has some advantages like having this uh, grooves here that uh, allow for very easy attachment of the uh, modified like uh, gels and things like that, grids. And this one doesn't have anything here. So while well, you can still do it, I mean, there's like some that you can attach with like a rubber band and then you have the, the uh, gels and things like that. You can do it definitely, or, or even a magnetic one that goes around and plugs in. But this one is a more elegant solution in my opinion. And also this one will more evenly fill in a, mo a modifier like a softbox. It'll give you less of a hot spot than this one will in a modifier. Now, neither one is gonna give you a soft light if you're just pointing directly at a subject without any modifiers, that's not possible. It doesn't matter whatever said, whoever says that it's not right. 
is still a small light source, right? Small light source is not going to be soft no matter what. But what it will do is give you less of a hot spot if you put this on a, an umbrella or a, or a big soft box because it's going to be a rounder, more spread around uh, light. So that's the main advantage in this one. But on the V60, it doesn't have that, but I really like them. I really like this. It's a bit cheaper. And I really like, oh, of course, the TETTL. They both can be controlled, uh, can be used as a, as a transmitter as well. So you can control other lights with this one, which is great. And as far as power, they are the same power uh, from, well, of course, this one's gonna be a bit more focused power because of the way the head is designed. So it's kind of hard to compare them, but recycle speed, it's uh, the same, at least when I tested it. Uh, let me show you really quick. Okay, now I'm going to show you the recycle speed of both of the units. So I'm going to be controlling them with my transmitter here, the Godox transmitter, of course. So I have uh, one set up to full, and I'm going to set the other one to full power. Okay, and I'm going to do a flash, and I'll see how fast they come back. I mean, they look to me to be identical. Let's one more time. And one last time. I can tell a difference. I don't know if you can, but I can tell a difference between the two. So they seem to be just as fast as recycle at full power. So again, they're very similar units in many ways. Of course, the head is the main differences. And the two features that I mentioned before, which is the TTL and the manual, and the, in my opinion, better designed uh, focus and light or focus assist lamp. Um, one thing that both of the units have, which I enjoy a lot, and one of the things you always want to try is if you're having problems with uh, not transmitting or receiving the flashes are not triggering, they both have this built-in, which is the scanner, which I find really good. So you can go here to scan on the menu and then do a quick scan. And what it will do is just scan for channels around you and give you an idea which ones are uh, cleaner to use and the recommended ones. So. Anytime I go to a place that I'm not familiar with, I do this just to make sure there's nothing around that is going to be interfering with my receiver transmitters and I haven't had any issues with Godox doing this. So quick, simple step to do. This one has it, the V1 has it, and this one doesn't have it. The other version, the R2, which has the buttons on the other side, that one has it. So it's a nice thing to have, although you can also probably use just your phone and do a Wi-Fi scanning. But yeah, I like having it here on the on the units themselves. So what can I say? It's cheaper than the V1. Doesn't have the round head. So if the round head is one thing that you need, then this is not the one for you. But if you don't care about the round head, you can save some money, get the extra feature of the ETTL and manual switch, and the better focusing light uh, lamp. If you need have a need for this, this will come in handy. You'll be able to use it more often if, if you are like me. That point up. Other things are the same. The same uh, level of uh, tilt here one side on the others so don't expect any differences in things like that they are very very much the same just the uh, features that I mentioned which I think they're really nice and this one of course is a bit easier to put in your bag because it's rounder it fits a bit better you can see the difference between the round head so you might be able to squeeze more of these ones than on this one so that could be another uh, good point that you might be interested in so Overall, I really like the design. I think Godox is doing all the right changes, adding the nice features, and I hope they keep going, improving on them. And well, let me know if you have any questions. I'll put a link so you can grab them from uh, different stores. Um, as usual, like, subscribe, comment, and thank you for watching.